Hello friends, my name is Sumit and once again I welcome all of you to DRC Training Short Form. This is my next video in TIPCO Spotfire series. In this video I will be going to demonstrate you how can we implement a map chart in TIPCO Spotfire and in this video I will be going to explain show you that how can we present the average of number of stations in a specific region to a map chart. So first of all, let me show you my requirement. So as you can see here, I would like to show the average of stations available in US or in a North America or in a specific region. So for this, we are requiring two files. So first one, we will be requiring the data set. And the second one, we will be requiring the geolocations which contains the stations of a specific or for a specific region. So I have already collected both the files. So let me show the files one by one. So this is my first file which contains the station from multiple regions, station name along with their latitude and longitude. And the other file which I'm talking about is the in the form of Salesforce binary data. It, it will be a Spotfire binary data file, North American province, and it contains, it holds all the North American provinces stations along with their regions. So let's see how how can we achieve this result here. So I'm going to create a new file here. So let me close it so that we can create a new one. I create a click on add data file, load data file from a desktop, it's station inventory, and click on OK. OK. Close it. Then I simply click on map chart, and when I click on map chart, a map will be created automatically. And here we have got the regions. We have got the, uh, we are getting the values. We are getting the output here, but the output is little messy because it's, it's not, uh, it's not easy to understand it. And uh, it's showing the, re it's showing the stations of all regions. I wanted to show only from a specific region. So how we are going to customize it. I right click on it, properties layers select station inventory layer click on settings positioning and i select geo coding this i want state wise geo coding and we need to load the geo coding hierarchy so this hierarchy is stored in the data file which data file the data file which I show you for North America province dot uh, spotfire binary data file. So I select this open. OK. I'm getting one error message here that no column match available for the axis expression. So we need to do the map matching. But usually the mapping matching will be done automatically. But in just in case if matching doesn't happen automatically, we can click on edit column match and we can create a match manually. So I click on column matches, select the data table, station inventory, column matches, new, and from the left matching column, I select state, and from the right matching column, I select province. You can click on preview to look at the matching records as well. So it's done. Close. OK. Apply. OK. Close. And if you look at it, you can see it's only map only in North America. It's not matching in South America. Earlier it was matching in South America as well. Now it's matching only in North America. Few more customization we can do. Again, I select the layers because I want to customize the same layer. Set in station inventory settings. First, I select the positions. So this is OK. Then I select the shape. Instead of round, I want diamonds. And size, I want a little bigger in size. Color, I would like to find out the average of number of stations. So 
number of stations and that will be the average so it will be display based the color will be display based on the average of number of stations so right now we have only two colors maximum and minimum i can add more points into it and then we can set the range so we can increase and decrease the range we can set the range by ourselves as well as we can set their colors as well we can change the colors so i start from red then yellow then light yellow then dark green then very light and close close and you can see the points are added so let's make it little bigger to understand it and if i make it little more bigger we have the chart so this indicates that which area in north america has got the maximum number of stations and which has got the least number of stations and this can be done this can be presented by using the map chart in tipco spot fire so that's all in this video i hope this video will help you to display or to visualize your data on a map chart in tipco spot fire if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on tipco spotfire keep watching have a nice day goodbye